Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out Podcast, issue 184. Uh, man, we're creeping up to that 200, bro. Uh, just want to say a massive thank you to all the listeners and people that watch us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the new YouTube channel, the Brothers Geek Out Podcast. The link will be in the description. But if you're watching it on or listening to it, sorry, through a streaming service, then the link is in the pod, in the description, not in the podcast. Make sure you check it out. But G-Man, how you been, bro? You all right? I've been cool, bro. I've been cool. Taking a couple of days off work, I'm on holiday. I'm drinking a fat, full fat Coke. Good, good. Enjoy it. You know enjoy what? It, bro? I haven't taken a day off work since early August, right? So it's been over three months. Mm. September starts the busiest time of our year. But I've been on routine since then. And it's so important to come out of routine and just go sure. and just yeah. enjoy life. Yeah, because sure. you know my routine working and training, working and training, eating healthy, eating this and whatnot. I haven't come out of that for three months. Yeah, and, that's hard. Uh, so yeah, I took a couple of days off work, just literally, literally no routine, no training, no diet, nothing. I tried to come out of life and just, you know, just chill, yeah, yeah. man. So it's of been course. good, bro. It's been good. I mean, like I said, I'm enjoying some bad food. Um, Enjoy it, bro. That's the main but thing. Yeah, watching, watching movies, going out, and just relaxing. No, that's it's no. important, bro. It's so important. Oh, I man. haven't. I was burning I, out. I, I was burning out, man. Seriously, it was. I, I didn't realize it was over three months, but I was getting to a point where I was proper burning out with work, and I was making those mistakes, and I just wasn't enjoying things. But I was mm. like, "That's why I needed this holiday." But yeah, no, all good, man. No, it's important, bro. I burnt out what a few weeks was it? Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when I fell ill. <clears throat> because I haven't had a day off since. Well, we got the weekends off, but weekends get busy. But I haven't had time away from work because I used up on my annual leave to do the project in Birmingham. I haven't been off since March, bro. Oh, damn. And yeah. that, that day, I remember, Shanaz was like, just stay home. If you're run down, just sit down and watch TV all day, man. Enjoy it. Order some food. Have a game. And I did that mm. for two days, bro. I've never done that before. Like, in ages, bro. I've never got to, got to sleep at, like, 12 o'clock and then wake up at two and be like, ah, what's going on? So, but, and I was exactly. watching films. I caught up with quite a lot of movies and TV series, which was, which was good in the process, but it's been a busy week, bro. Like I've got yeah. to go to cinema twice. I've got to catch up with some movies. Uh, but uh, let's, let's start off, bro. Uh, we got, we, we got some, we got some actually good stuff and well, some we interesting missed, stuff. Yeah, we, missed we missed last week. Last week. Was so busy. I think I was just yeah. busy. Just couldn't find the time, man. Like I yeah. said, even though weekends we have off, re- weekends, man, I'm routine still. My Saturday's still mm. routine. Mm. And then Sunday's the only day I chill. But really, I don't want to do anything. It's kind of like a routine. I watch UFC in the morning, then I just sort out shit for work the next day. And that's that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even with weekends, I'm routine. That's what I'm saying. So it's good to just be out of routine completely. But yeah, mm. let's get cracking. I know we missed last week, so let's catch up with everything. We've got let's movies to spoil and watch and talk about uh, of course the marvel universe uh, has expanded even more so we can we're going to spoil the shit out of the eternals later but let's get on that later let's uh start off with some of the lists on the list man no no of course let's start off with john Wu coming back and i think it's joe kinnaman if i said his name right uh looking to do a movie and bro it was funny that we were talking about we haven't seen a john Wu movie in ages and like, what, and like what happened and then suddenly that comes up and i'm like oh my god the universe is great for us to get another John Woo movie. I'm very excited because those movies, his movies, I still adore, you know. I still listen to the soundtracks, you know what I mean? Hard Boiled probably has to be one of the best action movies ever, bro. No doubt. No Hands doubt. down. I was, I was watching the, um, the Wu-Tang show and there was an episode yeah. with Raekwon and uh, Ghostface Killer. And they're watching Raekwon is introducing Ghostface to the killer. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, you gotta watch this movie and whatnot." And anyway, they have their own scene based on it and whatnot. And I'm just, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole John Woo, like, yeah, and that's why we're talking about it, right? Uh, and now John Woo's got a movie out. He was ahead of his time, man. Listen, all this John Wick, Gun Fu, all this sort of that was all started with John Woo. From that's John Woo, man. I mean, that's him. I mean, I know it evolved from cowboy movies to whatever, but John Woo took it up a level, and then it stepped up from him and whatnot. But <laughs> yeah, and they're trying to they're doing a silent movie. Yeah, about this. It's, it's just, apparently it's a silent action movie. So. There's going to be a lot of 
expression in that movie based on, you know, I don't know, Amazing, fighting bro. and music probably and yeah. facial expressions and whatnot. That sounds artistic, you know what I'm but saying? Like you, just up John Woo's alley. If you watch his previous movies, when the action does come on, he doesn't really have much dialogue or sound as well. Like he takes that part out, puts a soundtrack in there and let the actors do the emotional part. You know what I mean? Uh, he did that in Face Off with the kid. He had the headphones on and Nicolas Cage was yeah. coming through. He's done that in The Killer. He's done that in A Better Tomorrow. He has his moments. But to see that as a full movie will be absolutely amazing. And the light keeps Very going out. And he's always been good at, he's always been good at casting actors to play action stars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not just action stars and then they do their thing. It's actors playing action stars. So they put a lot more emotion in it because Chinese Fats, he's an actor, man. He's a proper, Mm. you know, like he does all those. uh, Before all the killer and stuff, before we knew him, he was doing like proper like acting, when I say acting, (coughs) non-actions and whatnot, showing emotions and whatnot. When he was doing the killer, for example, you could see the, uh, the emotions and everything in his face when he was going through that movie, right? Um, yeah. So he's really good at that, man. So that's it's going to be great to have a John Woo movie back. I'm excited to see that. Definitely excited yeah. to see that. Uh, One sec. Yeah. Yo, wait, wait, put the aircon on here, please. It's fucking hot as hell, man. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Uh, oh, you got arms of teeths here, bro. <laughs> man, <laughs> man couldn't spell. Man couldn't spell thief, bro. So I just wrote teeth. Uh, but it's not even that. It's ar- ar- arm of teeths. Uh, it's supposed to be army of teeths, man. I couldn't spell teeth, but he kept the auto correction to something else. I was like, fuck it, just put, put yeah. teeth down. But hey, anyway, listen, have you seen? It? Have you seen it? I've seen it. It's it's a good good fun fun movie. Uh, it's you know it's your. I don't know. It gave me a little Fast and Furious vibes. Uh, it gave me, you know, uh, I don't know. It just gave me Fast and Furious vibes, and it gave me, you know, a heist movie uh, vibes. It was, uh, it is a heist movie, uh, but they've done it quite clever. It was clever the way they did it, bro. Like it was good fun. Hans Zimmer's soundtrack was sick, uh, but I liked the the morale, of the story, and how it leads on and where it moved on to. Uh, and it's a good shot movie, bro. I love the way it looks. Yeah. Definitely. Like, I was, know, yeah. I was impressed by the fact that it was a prequel to a zombie. I know the zombie movie was a, a heist movie anyway, but it was a prequel to a zombie movie that had nothing to do with zombies. And you still loved it. Do you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. They, they spoke about the zombie apocalypse, but it had nothing to do with it. And it had, had everything to do with uh, this the safe right, and the artisticness behind the safe. Yeah, I'm that's like, right. How, yeah. Because how, how amazing is that, bro? They made the safes look like... like um like a puzzle, like world yeah, yeah, yeah. class. And that's how they do it, bro. Yeah, it was amazing. So I was actually amazed by that. And that, that German guy, the main character was awesome. Like, he's really funny. He's like, really he is. Likeable. He is, uh, he is he's very likable. his innocence and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, he is um, very. The only thing is I watched Army of the Dead after. Um, yeah. But I figured let's watch this again because, you know, the, the prequel was so good and I couldn't remember things. The safe in Army of the Dead, I know it was named like the last one, the Gutenberg or whatever. Gutenberg, yes. But, but it did not look as epic as they did, the way they did it. Yeah, 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 it didn't of course. Look like that. Anyway, maybe, you know, the idea came after or whatnot. But uh, I was just impressed that, it, you know, it had nothing to do with zombies and it, just, it fit in with that movie and it turned out to be awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed it, man. No, it was it was it was a good it was a good watch, man. I, I really enjoyed it. The, bro, you know me, I'm a soundtrack guy. As soon as I heard Hans Zimmer doing his work, I was like, what? This is my st-. uh it He's was really doing good. A, Hans Zimmer's doing a European tour next year, man. Back, I don't know, bro. We might have to jump on one of those like I don't know, go to a European country that we haven't been to in a while and just just you know what? Boys. I'm 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 call definitely boys. What do you call those groupies? Well, go be a good be out, out, man. Hands in my groupies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'd be, de- yeah, definitely on that, without a doubt. I'll, uh, I'll be happy. Keep an eye out and check if he's coming to London. I mean, when he says Europe, it might be like, screw you, Brexit, lot or whatnot. So then Europe, UK might not be in it, but check if there is a London one. If there is, man, jump on that, man. No, definitely will do. Definitely will do. Uh, so, oh, yeah, great movie. Really good film, oh, really good film. Yeah. Blade, Blades in Moonlight, yeah? That's what I heard. That's what I've been reading. Bro, these rumours, they keep starting off as rumours. Now it's looking legit. Your camera's got all dark, talking mm. about Blade and whatnot. Uh, but, um, bro, man, shit, man. If they put Blade in Moonlight, how sick would that be, bro? So good, bro. Um, so good. If it just ties it up ne- neatly, you know what I mean? Uh, it will... 
I don't know, man. It just it will fit together really well, bro. And what I found out as well is that the the I think it's the art director or somebody that worked on uh who, who worked on uh Moon Knight uh will be on Blade and has done production work on Morbius. And Morbius trailer came out as well this week, which was absolutely awesome. So if they tie it all in, bro, because that trailer, I'm not going to lie, out of a lot of trailers that have come out and a lot of movies that we've been seeing, <clears throat> I, was, I was moist, bro. That trailer was sick, especially for a Sony production one. Not, no disrespect to them, but from the Marvel Universe, you expect something else. From Sony, you expect something else. This one for Sony looked awesome like right? yeah. just the way he looked yeah, the 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 graphics and the special effects and his abilities i mean it looks like he's got that story of you know like iron man or whatnot he's trying to cure this disease and blah mm. blah blah. he goes through his own adversity and then you know he goes through the shit but yes if you're saying that the same producer or whatever what art directors working on all three man there's got to be a connection because obviously now that every, ever since that trailer everything's coming out in regards to what universe is he in because you saw the Spider-Man from Tobey Maguire, you saw Vulture from uh, Tom, Tom Holland, and then you saw Oscorp logo from... Um, Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Garfield. Yeah. So, you know, it's confused the shit out of everyone who what universe is involved in. But then again, Multiverse of Madness, I'm oh, sorry, the new Spider-Man has opened up the multiverse, so this could be anywhere, bro. This, Bloody it yeah. doesn't, this could be anywhere. But that trailer was awesome, and hopefully Blade shows up in Morbia, in... in um, <coughs> Moon, uh, Moonlight. Moonlight. And hopefully one day they can. Uh, not Moonlight, 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 bro. Moonlight, Moonlight. Well, he will, he started in a film called Moonlight, right? Mahershali. Oh, yeah, he did, he did. I haven't seen that. It's a good movie. It's actually yeah. a good movie. So I'll he's check that out. As an act. He's a uh, he is, actor. he is. Yeah, I think he's, he's a wicked actor. Uh, Jim Carrey as Modoc. Sick. That's a, that's a good cast. That's Very a good, good cast. cast yeah, I can I see think, that. Modoc, Jim Carrey will be awesome as Modoc. I, I, I think he'll pull it off sick. No, definitely, without doubt. I think he'd be great as that character. And I think he needs to, well, if he does, depending, uh, if he does, it'd be absolutely amazing to see him do that, man. Uh, I, I've got enough love for Jim Carrey, uh, upset Dumb and Dumber too. <laughs> hey, he still had it, though. He still had it, regardless. He's still, he's still done his performance, just the movie was a bit outdated. Yeah, 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 exactly. That kind of comedy <coughs> didn't, I don't know, it just didn't work. Didn't work anymore. No, no, no. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Uh, Gal Gadot as Snow White, the evil queen, the white queen, the white evil queen. <laughs> Snow White. Uh, yeah, I copied and pasted that text, but I didn't. <laughs> there was no racial uh, um, implications behind that, but I copied and texted that. No, no, Snow all white, good. I mean, queen. listen, man. I think her career has like flourished since the wonder woman thing so good on her man i think i think she's great i think she is awesome in those movies i think most of the films she has done i think she's been great so uh mm. it, it should be interesting <coughs> and some of these live action movies i haven't got to <coughs> excuse me that was random sorry guys apologies for that but it's cough but it's dude bro oh man it hasn't gone, bro. We we still got the coughs. It wasn't COVID, was it? No. Nah. Just flu. Well, did you guys get tested? Yeah, we did the test. Is yeah. It worth, is it worth getting tested nowadays? Just to freaking take it, man. Anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm, well, I'm, shoot. Like, I haven't seen most of the live action ones. Like, Corella, I still need to see. That's so, good. It's really good. Uh, I need to, like, dive in and see what Disney are doing with the live action series at the moment. So, no, I, I look forward to for seeing them. it. There's, there's a market for them and it does, you know, you've seen all the original cartoons and it actually does, it is worth seeing the live actions because they're really good. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've built a second market for these for these movies, they for these cartoons they want to put out. So definitely check it out. And she'll be awesome as a, I, I think she'll do good as a queen. I wonder who Snow White's going to be though. Mm. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see who did. And I wonder if they that. use, you know, the, the seven dwarfs. I wonder, I mean, is dwarf the right word to use? Is that, is that, it's right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if they, if they what they do with that. Um, and if they, um, you know, because they all had character, right? That was The, the movie was really about them, right? Mm. But when I say really about them, the cartoon was really emphasized them and their <coughs> emotions and whatnot. And they brought, they, brought the, they brought charisma to those cartoons. Of course so they did. Of course they did. Hopefully yeah. they bring them in the movie as well. Uh, yeah, I hope so too, man. I hope so too. Uh, 
the next one you bro you got daniel day kim joins the cast of netflix live action series what live action series they basically can't even copy the whole text. Um, Airbender, <laughs> like, like, Airbender, Airbender, Airbender. Oh, Love okay. Airbender. What's it called, man? Um, the last Airbender. Called? The last Airbender. The last Airbender. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they called um, Avatars. What have I right. got blank for, man? No, remember what's that? What's the biggest, highest grossing movie of all time, bro? Why have I gone so blank for? The blue avatar, avatar. Blue. yeah the avatar they were they were the original avatars you know that yeah they were originally called avatars and then after after that movie they came movie came out they changed it there's something to do with airbender oh yes you're right the yeah last yes airbender. the last airbender yeah that's right it's called the avatar yeah that's yeah. It. Yeah, yeah yeah it's called the avatar it's but changed. then they changed it up because of uh what's his name man making problems yeah. Well, anyway, look, I, I saw that news all over the place. Not that I know much about Last of uh, uh, the Airbenders and whatever the hell it's called. But see, I don't. I literally don't know shit about it. But I thought it was news to just put down. Anyway. Yeah. And I don't really. I'm not really familiar with him either. Um, but I did see that it was on there, and I guess I did watch the old movie, and I enjoyed it. But that flopped. Remember, it was. A yeah, yeah. I, I thought kinda, it was all right. I thought it was pretty good too. Yeah. Same. Same. Very good movie. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, that, because that was an M. Night Shalaman movie, isn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. But it didn't get good reviews and it flopped. And I think they, again, it was from that they wanted to call it Avatar, but they couldn't because Avatar. Um, mm. But anyway, I don't know. New thing for Netflix. Hey, there's been a few new things for Netflix. They, uh, uh, Narcos season three, Narcos mm -hmm. Mexican season three. That's right. Yesterday, so I watched episode one. Um, I know we're going to talk about, we might as well talk about it, um, the new movie with Edris Alba, The Harder They Fall. And so, um, let's, talk, let's talk about that before we jump on <clears throat> the other stuff. But bro, The Harder They Fall, so far, I'm, I'm almost at the end. Uh, I've probably got another 15 minutes left to do. But bloody hell, bro. I am fully in love with that movie, the way it looks, the way it was shot, the way the soundtrack, the, the actors. Bro, it's so good, bro. So good. Yeah, I, I literally just finished it now just before we started the podcast. And yeah, it's fucking awesome. It's so awesome. Yeah, like you said, everything from the music, the yeah, everything, everything looks clean, everything looks cool. They look so, you know what I mean? They look like they look proper cool with like with their with their characters, the western uh western characters. And you know, one thing I noticed and I appreciate about the movie, they didn't play a lot on the race card or anything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The like discrimination on that shit. It's just between them, even between them, they didn't even play call each other the n-word or any of that sort of stuff that's right that's right at the time everything was just it was just a western movie and it was done really fucking cool man uh it just alba playing a bad guy he played it emotionally Very good. man you know what i mean like, he, he did he awesome. did and then um uh uh the lot uh, what's his what's the name bro why have i forgot his name see i'm, I'm fucking i'm fucked right now i can't remember anything what's the name that's right uh, i don't know his name it's gone off my head as well bro sorry bro Six, man. I, I just said his name earlier. The main freaking Kang the Conqueror, man. Fuck it. Kang the Conqueror. <laughs> he who remains. How, how could I remember? He who remains, bro. How could I remember he who remains? I can't remember his real fucking name. So uh, basic. He was so awesome anyway. As, he's a good like actor, said, bro. Really good actor. Very good. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. I gotta do him some justice, man. Say his fucking name, man. Dumb brain right now, man. Dumb oh, no, brain. It's all right, bro. Let's go. Jennifer Majors. Ah, Jennifer Majors. Yes. Oh my God. Such an easy name as well. Lose. No, I know. Something we need to remember that, but I'm not call him Kang the Conqueror. Uh, but he's <laughs> freaking awesome. The movie, like I said, was shot. Like everyone, I don't know how to explain it, man, but it was like different from a Western. It made it so they made him so cool. They gave him swagger. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. yeah. So but it still had that, it still had that feel, bro. Yeah, you had that gritty feel because you could see their face, right? The facial hair and whatnot. They yeah, yeah. Really gritty. Uh, but if you look at the city, the town that they live in, uh, or that Idris Elba's character was one in, yeah, very colorful and clean. Like yeah. you know, it's all the buildings; they look very fake. And obviously, that was a set, but the houses look fresh and clean and colorful. Like it wasn't downplaying on, on you know, oh, this is a black town, so it's going to be grimy or whatnot. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It was yeah, 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 yeah. Clean. I kind of appreciated all of that. It was just very clean and colorful. Um, which was sick. I really enjoyed it. And the soundtrack, the soundtrack was like a, a Western mix of like, you know, so reggae, hip hop, and then 
like classical Western. It was really good, man. Bro, I absolutely, uh, I, I'm really enjoying it, and and um, and I'm looking forward to finishing it off when I get the chance later on today. But yeah, no, it's just put together really well, and, and I love the directions uh, they've gone with, like that opening credit scene, bro. It was just, it just got me excited for the film. And then when when we saw the Chadwick Boseman tribute, I was like, oh man, that's just so sweet, man. They, uh, that, I, missed I, think, that. I missed that. Wait, where? Who? Where? Tell me. I missed it. It was, it was on the train before they broke out Idris Elba's character, Rufus. C.A. Boseman on the train. Oh, Ch- rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. I did not notice. I think he was supposed to be a part of this film, or they just get, did it been- as a tribute. He would have fitted straight perfectly into <clears throat> this type of movie, man. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. That was awesome. I didn't notice that. That's awesome. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. So, no, I'm looking forward to finishing it off and then definitely going from there. I won't say anything. Yeah, I won't spoil yeah. it at the end. But, yeah, and it's also got my guy, Bud's Love. is a Bud's Love. What's his name again? <laughs> that's all I know him from. Yo, know every time I see him, that's all I know him for as well, bro. <laughs> but he's a good actor, <laughs> but... That's all brother's I know. Love is a brother's love. I'll always, I'll always love that. I, lo- I always love that one. Always love that one. Uh, guys, I just want to say massive thank you to everybody. You know, we've reached 300 followers on Instagram. Uh, I want to say thank you for that. We've almost hitting close to 2K on TikTok. Thank you so much for nice. that. Uh, nice. And I think we just reached past 200 on Twitter, guys. So anybody who's showing us social media love, Thank you so much because we only jumped on it recently and to see that type of love come through uh, is amazing. We uh, finally got to like 13 on the YouTube subscribers. Booyah. Yeah. So <laughs> click on that, that subscribe button. Let's, pu- let's push that. Let's push that. Uh, guys, subscribe, like, dislike, comment. It helps so much. Uh, I want to thank the guys at uh, Sci-Fi Podcast as well. Always showing love to the page, uh, which is absolutely amazing. We've got another episode coming out with them later on. Nice. What's up? I hear Lara screaming. She okay? Let me go check, bro. I'll be back. Hold up. All right, cool. Should be all good. Um, but anyway, if other than that, we're going to spoil the shit out of Eternals, I think, next. So if you have not seen the Eternals, then, yeah, skip the last part. Of this part. <clears throat> come back to there we go, man. She don't like shower time. Uh oh, but if you have seen Eternals, then I spoil the shit out of it. That was next, right? We're going to talk about uh, Dune first, bro. Oh, Dune. Before we okay, jump on. Okay. And I know we didn't speak about it properly on the podcast today. So didn't get the chance to watch it. it. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I watched it a month earlier than you. Like, I don't know why they're not doing global releases. But anyway, what did you think? Bro, my favorite movie of 2021. I told you, right? Hands it's, down. It's so- hands down. So epic, right? Every every scene, every sound, and I'm not talking about the music. I'm just talking about the sound effects. Everything was just shot in an epic fashion. So, did like you watch it on scene, IMAX? I did not. I should. So have I watched it on IMAX, bro, and I was fully been. engaged. Like I haven't, you know. Oh, you, recently I know so, we've been talking about movies that I forgot. I you carry on. I need to get my charger. Yeah, yeah, God. <clears throat> so, guys, got to catch it earlier this week. Uh, and it was absolutely an amazing experience. What Denise done, uh, Denise, Denise, I can't even say his name properly without offending people. So all I'm going to say is Dennis, Denise, that movie was absolutely amazing and beautiful. It was such a visual experience and mesmerizing experience as well. (coughs) Excuse me. It was a mesmerizing experience. I just absolutely adored everything I watched on there. Now, look, I haven't read the books. Uh, I didn't see, I have seen the old Dune and I've seen some of the TV series, but this is in a league of its own, this movie. It just, uh, I, I saw somebody's review the other day and it was like an orgasmic experience of a movie. That, that, that word reminds me of Zohan. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, go on, go on, carry on. <laughs> Yeah, no, bro, uh, absolutely loved it. I love that, you know, it's it's weird, you know, because a lot of people will have different opinions about this movie. But for me personally, as a person who loves going to the cinema, 
and to captivate me in that way where you're not just getting me by visuals, you're getting me by sound, you're getting me by story, you know. Like, I wanted to know more about Paul's journey as well, you know what I mean? And we're going to get that, you know. Originally, we didn't know if we were going to get a part two to this movie, bro. And then they announced mm. there's going to be a part two, yeah. that which is absolutely amazing because, bro, this is like Game of Thrones on a... Well, this is the original Game of Thrones, bro. Well, they say this is the original Star Wars, right? Have you seen all the things that's coming? Because this came out before Star Wars and then Star Wars came out and it has a lot of similarities. So, yeah, yeah, I I, I think when I said when I watched the movie before, I, I'm not, I don't know anything about Dune. So I went, as a new, went in as a new fan. I've never seen the old one. I've never read the books. And the way this one was, was again, as we just discussed, epic. Like epic I loved it, bro. Shoot. And just like, Action just... Was awesome. Just really good, bro. And I love the way they've brought, even that you could see the Arabic culture, like in there. Mm. You know what I mean? With the the, the Furman. Uh, and bro, the visuals are oh, fucking grand, bro. Like he knows mm. how to work with scale and he makes his scenes beautiful looking. Uh, but it was every scene. It was every, every scene. Every scene. Yeah, I could just, I can never remember one scene where they were like, ah, just fuck the light in or fuck that just let it be it was like every scene was shot in that grand sort of scale yeah exactly. yeah scale. bro yeah fully so enjoyed good. it fully enjoyed it <clears throat> best film of 2021 for me i am uh, gonna do i'm gonna do an in-depth review later for the channel as well and guys make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel we've got loads of reactions trailer reactions movie reactions and general product stuff on there as well. So, guys, make sure you check that out. But I just, Dune was brilliant, bro. I can't stop thinking about it. That's how bad it was. And I was speaking to Ahmed the other day, and I was like, dude. Have you seen the originals? Has anyone of the boys? No, so seen I've the seen the original movie. I haven't read the book, uh, but I saw the original movies. Uh, sorry, I saw the original movie, and I saw some of the TV shows that they did. There's a TV show. Can you believe that? Uh, but it just, you know... This is a movie in its own. It's grand. You know, you can't compare it to that. That was a different time, different era. <clears throat> and I love the, I love, I love the conflict, bro. You know what I mean? And his journey, like Paul, like I originally, you know, you you get to like this kid. You know what I mean? He's on this journey. There's there's a grand scale of madness going on, politics and all the rest of it. But just mad, bro. Even the guy, man, what's his name? Sk- is it Skarsgård? I can't remember his name, but he he played the professor in Thor. Uh, he was that big fat guy floating everywhere. Mm, yeah, bro, he, oh, was he was menacing, bro. Yeah, he was grimy looking, but yeah, met scary and yeah. like, presence about him, right? Uh, fat floating presence. dude, man. Floating, fat floating, fucked up looking dude, bro. Yeah, uh, no, no. Yeah, remember him coming out of the oil or wherever the fuck he was in the grease that he was trying to grease up him. <laughs> His, his fat self. <laughs> anyway, absolutely awesome. Great cast, great movie. One thing I want to touch on before we jump on Eternals is, bro, I've been hearing the reviews for Ghostbusters. And is it good? Bro, people are loving it. Uh, one of my friends who uh... so, one of my friends who saw it came out the cinema, fucking did his reaction. He was screaming, shouting, bare moist. I was like, I'm not even going to watch the rest of are people getting special screenings or something? How did Already, you yeah. The Leicester Square. I think it was in Leicester Square the other day. And they had the, the cars. And yeah, it looked moist, bro. But Do people you know, are genuinely really happy with this movie. Thank God. I mean, look, remember we were talking about the trailer. And I, I was just like, the part that got it was when you just hear, when you hear Ecto-1 doing the, 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 the siren and you hear the music and you're like, that's Ghostbusters. Mm. That is Ghostbusters. Fuck knows what they did a couple of years ago with the other movie. But this one <laughs> seems like it. We're going to watch Ghostbusters 1 today because she's never seen them. So... We're going to watch that because it comes out next week, right? Uh, we get it. Yeah. Next uh, the week after. <coughs> Excuse okay. me. Okay. All right. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to watch one and two before we watch that. Awesome. Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, regardless, even, even if the critics say it was bad, fuck them. we're going to watch it ourselves. Well, listen, uh, bro, we're going to jump onto Eternals now. Yeah. And I think we had different, I think we got different point of views on this because you actually, okay, let's carry on. Can't carry on. Yeah, there's a split decision. Uh, and I can understand why, because I think the movie didn't have its wow factor. Yeah. But overall, I really enjoyed it, bro. Me and Ash really enjoyed it. I found the funny moments funny. I, I found the emotional parts emotional. You're right. They didn't give enough time for the characters to breathe because they just threw us into quite a big epic story, bro. But they did a bit of back and forth, which was quite good in that movie and guys if there, there's going to be spoilers on this part so if you are listening to the podcast or watching the podcast 
come back to it later on so you can hear our thoughts on it. But I, bro, genuinely, uh, as a as a fan of the Marvel MCU, we got a totally different movie here. And you're right. It doesn't follow their usual formula. And this has a darker tone to the film as well, bro. And the fact that they've got Celestials involved, bro, that opens up the universe massively because the next movies we're going to get, we're going to have, you know, we got a Celestial half coming out of the ocean, bro. You know what I mean? So... <clears throat> I'm 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 actually excited to see where they head with this because it's a different tone of a movie. It's not your regular superhero movie, bro. This is this is like gods and angels and demons and you know like that type of story. You know, the guy who created the 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 deviants for one purpose ended up having to create some angels to help it as well. So biblical parts to it as well. You know, that religious side of things. But I feel like they brought a lot of difference to this movie as well bro and for me personally i think it's quite important what's that is that a bird in the background bro it is man yeah sorry my, <laughs> no, i sorry. realized the mic will pick up bro. i was like are you know one of those things you turn around and it makes a noise i was like <laughs> somebody play with that <laughs> uh, uh it brought a lot of difference to the film bro so you've got you know uh characters that are uh I, I don't even know how to say it without offending people but Gay characters in here. Uh, you've got uh, what well, diverse, it, a diverse, diverse, yeah, yeah, a yeah very so, diverse ca- group of characters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then yeah. you've got the you've got the the Indian guys that crack me up, uh, even though he's from Pakistan. Uh, but I I just liked it, bro. The main actor, he's from Pakistan, bro. Oh, got it, got it. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he grew up in Canada, but his family background is Pakistan. Uh, yeah, but he he, bro, I think overall as a movie it has its flaws but it's introduced me to a new part something fresh bro like even the visuals were different bro like that darker tone i kind of liked it uh the betrayal from icarus uh, i saw that coming but i was like they needed to do something to 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 give it that part to it uh i bro i i genuinely i enjoyed it i think you need to watch it again bro Maybe I do. <clears throat> I mean, look, we have different thoughts. And obviously, if you saw my non-spoiler review, I, I didn't say I didn't like it. And as mm. you said, as an MCU fan, I enjoyed it right, from that perspective. And yes, what they've opened up got me excited. But the movie didn't really get me that excited. I do think that, again, there was no character building, I feel. So I don't... When I say there wasn't... There was. There was there a was. little bit. There but was, was. There was. But I wasn't... Bro, for me, none of the characters for me, especially the main character, Cersei's, right... Mm. What's her name? Gemma Chan. Right? Yeah. There was, she's the main character. She, I didn't see her go through any adversity. Right? Everyone, all the main MCU characters and they're, they're, the MCU formula is, you know, Tony Stark goes through adversity, becomes Iron Man. Doctor Strange goes... I didn't see that with this character. I right? all no. of the characters here. But that's, and, and that's why I feel like, look, this opened up a lot, but if I see them again or not, I don't really care. Right? Yeah, yeah, no. um, same with like um, their powers and all that sort of stuff. Like, Boy, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Before you take the picture, boy, <laughs> I always shit. takes pictures while I'm talking. <laughs> Get me a butters picture, man. Let me pose for this. <laughs> no, no, this is a behind the scenes photo, so it's all right. I'm not gonna. <laughs> the thing is, I couldn't find no image here, so I'd like nah, let's get bro. a screenshot. I've seen some of the pictures you keep taking. My face all busted and whatnot. So I'm taking pictures while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> Go on. Uh, what else? The character. So that was one thing, right? I, I wasn't feeling. Icarus. Like I, I, I agree. The eff- effects were awesome. Like we first we. We got a different visual on the on a speedster. We did have Quicksilver, but this was Marvel. So good, bro. And she was really awesome. That was that was awesome. Icarus and his Superman vibes were awesome. It looked good. What am I guys still taking pictures for? Bro, before I stick that bird up your ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. But listen, uh, Icarus, wait, wait, Icarus. Wait, wait, wait. Icarus was awesome, right? And all the powers and all of the effects were good, yeah. But Again, with Icarus's betrayal, I, I, I was confused with him. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, you killed the main character. I uh, forgot her name, Summer Hyatt's character, right? Because you Ajax, Ajax. Emer- Ajax. Yeah. You, want, you killed Ajax because you wanted the emergence to happen. You knew your purpose and you wanted it to happen. But then 
they had six days to go. Why not just sit back and let it happen? The rest of them didn't have anything. But okay, he wanted to protect his friends from the deviants. So he went out and protected his friend. Maybe he only cared about Cersei. So why don't you just go protect her and forget the rest? But no, he started getting them together. together. He, he triggered that all off. And ultimately, at the end, he betrayed them when he had no remorse and wanted to kill them. So I was mm. just like, why don't you just protect her? And they said, oh, nothing. I don't know what's going on. Let's just leave it. And let six days go past and let the emergence happen. But no, yeah. he, he done. And then right at the end, he's like, I'm sorry. And then he went and killed himself and flew in the sun. I was just kind of like, well, he was kind of, his motives were basic. I felt like it, they weren't really, I didn't really feel it. I was like, you're basic. If you wanted it to happen, you should have just fucking sat back for six days and let it happen. Right. So it, that was kind of weird. Um, and I do feel like, um, there was a lot of pointless scenes, like the first, you know, they were talking about the, the Marvel's first sex scene and whatnot. It was so pointless. It was like 13 seconds or something. Nothing's going yeah, on. Bare people were in, in the cinema, like, there was bare bath, like, bro. And I was like, this ain't a kid's movie. And then some kids said, like, <laughs> like, bare freaking out. And I'm like... It was so pointless. It was so pointless, man. I, I just felt like there was no need like, to make... If, if, all right, if you're going to pull it in there, then it's in there. But the fact that there was all news about it, like Marvel's taking this new... A new, uh, you know, formula and having these scenes, I'm like, wh- it was nothing, right? Same mm. with the, the Marvel's first gay character and all this sort of stuff, a gay kiss. It was forced. Just pull it in there. Don't need to make a news about it, right? If Because they, they made the news about it, you're sitting there thinking, all right, well, what's going to happen now? Okay, they kiss. Like, it was like a two-second thing. Why force it? There was no need. My guy, like, it, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, they tried to be like, oh, this is a new formula that Marvel's going with. Just make it's not a formula, movie. it's just a movie, bro. Uh, I think Whatever, people take yeah. it out of proportion. Uh, but I'm and- not saying it was shit. I tell you, do, shall I tell you my favorite scene? And but not only not because of this movie or what I'm expecting to see in the future, that last scene with the celestial in the background in Earth in the sky, I just saw Galactus. I know I saw the cel- celestial, I saw Galactus, bro. And I was like, that's how Galactus is gonna be shown in the MCU. That's what they <laughs> tease us with. None of these clouds and whatever the fuck they did. That's how they're going to show Galactus in an Avengers threat level movie. And you're going to probably see from all over the, I could just visualize the scene, but from all over the world, you're going to see the different heroes looking at Galactus in the sky. That's what Sick. I saw in that lot. That was the best scene for me. Hey, bro, I, I so pumped. That was it. That was absolutely a great. Scene. So what was it that was spoiled in what BBC spoiled online? Okay. Okay. Because we didn't talk about it because we didn't know. Yeah. Thanos' brother. Thanos' brother was fucking... That Jakob posted it on the group and it, was, it said bbc.com. I'm pretty sure it did. And then it was all over Instagram. And then the next day it was gone. So I reckon Marvel was like, what the fuck are you lot doing? Right. And they took it down. Harry but Styles from... Harry uh, Styles. Fa- and do you know what, though? Like, even that didn't get me excited, though. I'm sorry. Like, nothing in this movie got me, like, except that Galactus... Well, it wasn't Galactus, but I... Or Galactus, mm. but apart from that, nothing in the movie got me like, oh my god, I can't wait for them to show up again, or someone told to show up. Like, well, you know, Thanos' brother is, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to have him and see where they go with that and whatnot. But you know, I, I didn't really, I didn't really, I mean, the spoiler fucked me up, but I was waiting for him. But not, not, it didn't really get me out of my seat and be like, oh my god, this is going to be epic. So, but John, John Cena as the little leprechaun. That was funny. That was yeah. actually quite funny. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that was John Cena. That's John Cena, yeah. yeah. That's John Cena, yeah. yeah. So I, guess uh, we're up, I guess Cena's in the MCU now because he had a bit of character. And also, just real quick, the Indian character, the, the funny one, the uncle, right? he hmm. was hilarious. Don't get me wrong, he gave me bad jokes. But bro, every other Marvel movie, the second character, the funny character, always had a purpose, right? You had um, Ant-Man, you had uh, Michael Pene, he was hilarious. Hmm. You had... You know, Spider-Man, guy in the chair, his best friend. They were funny, but they had a word of purpose. This guy had no purpose, man. He was a tag along and he was funny. And I enjoyed his lines and his little, you know, whatever, but hilarious. But he had no purpose in the movie. I was just like, that was pointless. So for me, there was a lot of pointless scenes in there where I was like, you know, okay, you made me laugh with him, which was good. But he did. He, oh, he had no I think you need to watch it again. One more time. Watch it one more time, bro. I might have to wait for a Disney Plus release, so give me a couple months. I don't know if I'm going to go cinema for it again. I'm, you know? I'm going to watch it one more time because I did get really tired towards the end. But I well, listen, bro, me and Ash, we enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, it's not yeah, one of the I best. Mean, it's not one of the best MCU movies, but it got me excited to have a different style of a movie and where they open up the Eternals from now. Because, again, bro, I don't know much about the Eternals. So getting Celestials involved 
getting Thanos's brother involved. Spoilers, guys. If you lose, you lose. Uh, I, I think we're going to get a different dynamics of how Phase 4 is going to be moving forward, bro, because now we're looking at Phase 4 at a larger scale, bro. Well, that's, that's what I loved about the movie, what we're expecting from a universe perspective, but not these characters. I don't, if any of these characters show up again, I don't mm. care. But if they do, awesome. And I'm, but I think, you know, bring them back in as secondary characters and whatnot. But I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, dying to see them again mm. uh, in the future. Um, I do think, you know, um, what was lacking as well, I just felt like they, they're brothers and sisters from seven million years. And when they find out some of them died, when Ajax, not Ajax, when um, Gilgamesh died, it was, it was like, all right, my guy's dead, let's move on. Like, there was no emotion, man. I felt like they had no emotion with each other and whatnot. My favourites have, have to be the speed star. I'm sorry, I forget her name. She was awesome. And her relationship with the guy who controls minds, to me... They were the best too. I, I felt their dynamics. I felt their acting. Mm. Uh, considering she was she's doing sign language, her emotions and her face, she had a beautiful smile and everything. She yeah, was, yeah. Like, really good. And then the guy who controls the minds, I forgot the names. He, I felt, he, I felt Doug, emotion from Dougie, him. Dougie, Dougie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of them, I didn't feel nothing, man. Like I said, when, when Gilgamesh died, they didn't give a fuck, man. Like, it felt like they didn't give a fuck. Like, there was no emotion behind them. And these are teammates for seven years. I think, look, bro, like, yes, it's hard. This is why it makes me, get me gets me nervous about X-Men because you can't do a group, group movie. Look, this movie was deep, right? Because it, again, you spoke about religion and all that sort of mm. stuff, right? So it's a big story to be told, right? I don't think it captured the whole story, but that's what it was going for. X-Men is a story about racism and discrimination, ultimately, right? Obviously, the, it gets me nervous that when you do the X-Men, MCU, I think it should be hard for them, man. Don't, I don't, I think they should literally do standalone movies and then bring them together because I don't know, man. Like when they do a group, Guardians of the Galaxy, this one I'm saying, like, like James Gunn smashed it. Like with Guardians of the Galaxy, so good that you made us fall in love with a tree. So you got to do the same thing for X Men, man. You got to, I don't know, man. Like I got nervous for X Men because you can't do a group movie in one movie and then, you know, pull them all together. No, no, of course, of course, of course, of course. Got me nervous. But, yeah, I mean, look, and also, you know, the Black Knight that we're getting at the end. I mean, I'm, I don't know much about him either, but he is a part of Avengers and whatnot. And Jon Snow, he's awesome and whatnot. Who do you think, at the end of that scene, someone said, are you ready or something? Who do you think that was? I'm not sure, but <clears throat> again, bro, we, we it's another extra part to the Marvel Cinematic use. I'm not going to look into it, like, too much. I'm just going to wait and see what they do and how they plan it out. They've got Phase 4 planned out, bro, so all sorts of madness is kicking off at the moment, so... I reckon later on I'll appreciate it more but based on what they do with the universe. This is what's so good about the MCU. This is just one chapter. So maybe I didn't enjoy this chapter, but the next chapter or the next chapter that they get involved in, I'll probably appreciate it more with the mm. Celestials, with their powers, with Thanos' brother, whatever, right? Because Thanos was a deviant, right? End of the day, like in the comics, he was a deviant, right? Mm. So you, it kind of tied into his story because the deviants were there to kill the humans so that the Celestial doesn't get the energy. Technically, Thanos killed half the population. His, his, um, you know, his philosophy on why he did what he wanted to do was different. Yeah. However, because it kind of gives you more love for him. It's like, hold on, he actually saved all those people because... Maybe he knew, maybe he didn't. I don't know if in the storyline they knew that, but him taking away half the population gave less energy for the for Celestial. The celest so that's like, right. Damn, this guy, he actually saved the universe. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, they saved it now, but at that time, he actually saved the universe. But, you know, it brings it to that and whatnot. But, and I, I thought they were going to bring a young Thanos in this, in, in this movie, but they didn't. Obviously, they're probably talking about his brother. But um, I, listen, I don't think it was shit. I'm not saying it was shit. I just saying it wasn't my favorite, and I can see why the ratings are not great. And I can, I, I just that's, feel that's, like that's that, that's critics, bro. Critics, yeah, the audience yeah, reaction yeah. has been great. Oh, is it okay? Cool. The audience well, reaction I, has I just, been great. I, I just think with the Marvel movies, especially right, if you're gonna do something different, just do something different and stop talking about it. Like all the things that they said that this scene and that scene, gay scene, kiss scene, sex. Just do the movie because you put expectations like, and when they're just pointless then and forced, then you're like, you you just done that shit for to be woke, right? Just pull it in the movie, stop talking about it, and then pull it in like in a good storyline and whatnot, and then make it epic. But don't talk about it and then make it a pointless scene. You know what I'm trying to mm. say? No, nah, listen, bro. Is all ban in the Middle East and whatnot. <laughs> that shit gives me jokes. But I just feel like you know, 
the talk was no need. Just yeah, yeah, do yeah. the movie. Do just the do movie the movie. Yeah. And do it right. But it wasn't shit. I'm not saying it was shit. It just wasn't one of my favorite. But definitely that last scene with Gal- um, Celestial, bro. I can't wait to see Galactus because you're going to see like the Fantastic Four. Think about that visual, bro. The Fantastic Sick. Four there. Silver Surfer is going to come. Bro, just think about that visual. That was the best visual of the whole movie. So um, good, bro. So good. I'm excited to see where they go with it. I mean, did you... Uh, <clears throat> bro, the cinema, my cinema was packed. That's the first time doing- since I've been in cinema. There's no dividers, bro. Everybody was sitting next to each other and everything, bro. It was packed. Oh, shit. Okay. The Back cinema normal, was then, packed. Yeah? Back to normal, bro. It was packed. And it was a Marvel movie that bought... Because when I went to watch Shang-Chi, bro, it wasn't that many people in there. And I watched that opening day as well. Was that because of the restrictions or because... No, I just, I just think people were just still kind of wary at that time. But... Okay, okay, okay. I, I was there, bro. I was yesterday. Even when Ash rode through, it was like, damn, it's packed. I was like, no, bro. Well, that's you? good. That's good yeah. to know, man. Hopefully, make some monies and it carry on because you know you don't want the movies to not to make the monies and whatnot. But exactly. I, I thought, listen, man. I know you brought up Shang Chi, but the, the difference with Shang Chi and this, like for example, within the first five me, me, minutes of meeting Shang Chi, I was already invested. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. By the end of that movie, I was like, I cannot wait for Shang Chi to be involved. That's what I'm saying. By the end of this movie, I was like, cool. Whatever the hell you guys do, go do what you're doing. Um, I did think there was another thought I had was. Um, what was that for? The other thing about everyone knowing who they were, like all their partners knew they were Eternals, they were this, they were that. And I, I don't know, I didn't feel much um, emotions from them. It's like, oh, okay, cool. You're this supreme being. And okay. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's like, damn, man, you've just been sleeping with an alien for however long and you're cool with it. Yeah. You got to go check, get, check yourself out, bro. You go to the hospital and get yourself tested, bro, because you don't know what the fuck's going on, bro. But no, from, from a perspective of shock value and emotional value, I didn't see that. It just felt normal. But maybe it's normal because they're in the MCU. They know Thanos exists. They know yeah. aliens exist. They're like, all right, cool. This is, a, this is reality now. So this is reality now. One, they're like, okay, I know your, you people exist now. So I wonder how they're going to factor in. Again, I go back to the X-Men. And mutants, why are they going to build it? Why is humans are going to build a hate towards mm-hmm. mutants? Like, because they're loving all these other Avengers and super beings and aliens. What is going to make them hate mutants? You know what I mean? Because that they need, they can't, that's a key element. It, it's that. a key it's element of the X Men. Yeah, exactly. But right now, all the superheroes are accepted and aliens mm. are accepted. How do you sure. do that? How do you do that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, so much happening, bro. So much happening. But, uh, We'll have to wait and see, bro. Definitely. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe I'll watch it again. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just wait for Disney Plus. But um, we'll see. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. All right, bro. Uh, was there anything else to cover today, this week? I think that's it, man. November, loads of shit's coming out. we got Hawkeye looking forward to that coming out. Shang-Chi's going to come out on Disney Plus. There's um, a couple of shows on Netflix coming out. Ghostbusters. <clears throat> Ryan mm. Reynolds and The Rock and Gal Gadot's got a movie coming out. Well, we've got a lot of good things coming out. We've got out some good things coming out this next month. Yeah, definitely, definitely. UFC All right. tomorrow, your UFC fan, big card tomorrow, Guzman versus Kobe Covington, part two, big fight. Um, nice. Shit, some good shit coming out, man. We've got some good stuff, guys. All right, guys, massive, massive thank you again. Make sure you check out all of our streaming platforms, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music. Uh, we're on some other stuff as well. If you type in the Brothers Geek Out podcast, it will come up on the list anyway. Uh, make sure you're following our social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, it always helps. You guys get to see little clips and what we're up to. Uh, and, yeah, man. All right, cool. All right, bro, let's get a photo without you losing. This guy, always, <laughs> this guy. But the last three we'll pictures you got on me, uh, 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 you got me like, hey, you guys, like, you got me all fucked up, bro. Like, t- you got me, you can't be t- taking pictures of me while I'm talking and expressing It's good, bro. Myself, bro. <laughs> it's all good. No, it's all no, good. no, it's good for you, bro. You got your face all structured and shit. I look all <laughs> fucked up. All right, cool. All right, let me stop it and then we'll take the photo after. But guys, massive thank you for listening in. And uh, we'll catch you guys up soon. Make sure you check out our midweek podcast. We've got Amy uh, Peachy Arts on. We talk about art, passion. Uh, and then we've got some passion podcasts coming out in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you check that out, guys. But other than that, G-Man, one love, bro. Peace. Peace.